Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hearthstone Deck Tech. Today we are going to talk about Mechathun Warrior, which I think is actually a pretty good control list in this current meta. Um, let me show you the list right here. This is the list. So this is just basically a control deck uh, with the Mechathun as the win condition. Um, you'll see a lot of draw mechanic tools in here, Acolyte of Pain, uh, battle Rage. Um, you know, we also have like Harrison Jones and we've got combo with um, Weapons Project. There's just a lot of ways to, to dig through the deck quickly because obviously you need to do that if you're playing Mechathun. Um, and the combo, there's two ways to get the combo. Both ways require Boom Ship. So the first way is if you have a lot of armor. You play Boom Ship to pull out only Mechathun, and then you Shield Slam the Mechathun, right? Or kill the Mechathun with like Inner Rages and the Shield Slam. The other way is you have Maligos and Mechathun uh, left in hand or another creature as well. And then you play them both out with Boom Ship. Then you do Inner Rage on Maligos, Inner Rage on Mechathun, and then Whirlwind that does 10 damage to everything, or 12 damage to everything. Um, and yeah, you, you complete the quest. That, that isn't the only way to win. Versus aggro, you win by just, um, you know, outlasting your opponent. So, uh, games can be tricky. We're going to go just straight into one game. If you want to know more about the deck and the nuances of playing it and uh, those things in more detail, then you can... What? When you can your sexy voice. And then uh, you can um, check the podcast for that information. Right? The one thing about Mechathun is that the games take long. Um, and some matchups are still difficult. Like, Quest Rogue is still difficult, although I have beaten quite a few Quest Rogues in the limited time that I play the game. Um, Zoo can be challenging just because they can pull so much fuel. Um, and you don't have, like, you only have one Brawl, you don't have Reckless Fury, uh, Flurry. So th those can be tough matchups, but they're winnable. Uh, other aggro matchups, I think, uh, this deck can maintain against. So here's Keleseth. Usually, Zoo with Keleseth on one, that's game, pretty much, most of the time. Um, we'll, we'll see, you know, maybe, maybe we get lucky. It's kind of one of those situations we don't even want to test it. We're just going to remove things from the board. We need to um, stabilize as early as possible. Sure. So this is... Okay, well, this is good, actually. We're doing okay. We're actually not doing too bad. But uh, Keleseth is really going to kill our resources quickly. So we're just going to have to see if we can, I guess, survive it. For what it's worth with the Keleseth opening, we're actually doing pretty well here. Um, this is difficult. This is one of the matchups where you're not going for the combo. Um, this matchup, you just want to um, drain your opponent of resources and just hope that it's enough to survive. I mean, obviously, that's a big play.
Uh, that board was... I usually want to save the whirlwind effects that have acolytopene. Um, but it's just kind of one of those situations where we needed to get something out there. And it was, just, it was really a clean type of clear. So. so like this card right here just really kind of jacks us. I feel like uh, Dynomatic is a card that you just always got to get out there uh, when you know it's going to at least kill one or two creatures. So even though it, what, it didn't kill both, um, we made good use of all of its hits. So, so now he'll either trade it in or he'll heal up this board. Well, that's what makes Zoo scary is like Fungal Enchanter or Voodoo Doctor. <laughs> One more, sorry. <clears throat> I will say this though, it looks like we're we're getting close to stabilizing we have a lot of we have a few strong cards in hand but you know we gotta worry about a doom guard we haven't seen a doom guard yet there's the 810 doom guard welcome to 11 damage Well, we gotta hope for the best here. Is that nine? Let's get seven, eight, nine. We have to go with Brawl because it's the only way we have a chance of winning. Okay. Ooh. So hopefully he doesn't top deck another Doom Guard. So I think this might be, this actually might be a winnable board state. As long as he doesn't top deck face damage, you know, like we're we're still in the game. Yeah, but it's dangerous. Only ten cards left. So you got a good chance of drawing into Doom Guard. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Hurts, man. Okay, well. We'll hit him for some damage. I guess we just hope he doesn't top deck Doom Guard. And remember, this is a, a situation where our opponent has top deck a lot of gas. Oh, well, there you go. Well played. He, he had a Kelaseth on two, so... Like, one of these cards gotta be Doom Guard.
A lot of heal. Situation is actually still horrible because we die to a top deck Doom Guard, so he has a 50% chance of hitting it here. So, well played. Okay, like it's so awkward because we need the armor here, so we're gonna have to armor up. Like, we need to armor up, but, like... Oh, no, he used both Doom Guards. Ooh, maybe I didn't have to armor up. Wow, maybe we... Maybe we did win. That would be crazy, because, really, our opponent had a lot of resources, so... We actually can win this game, still. Okay, well... Yeah, he lost, so I'm going to clear this out. This is not how the deck normally plays out for for aggro. Like, see, that's just a situation. We drain him of his resources, and he, and he also played um, Keliseth, so. so that was pretty crazy. Anyway, that's the deck. I, If you want to see the actual combo, you can follow me on my Twitter or my Twitch where I do play play off the Mechathune combo a lot um, or you can listen to the podcast which is coming out this week I'll try to put a description I'll try to put a link in the description because we'll talk about the deck a little more in depth it is a powerful deck um, as always thanks for following and I will put the deck in the description thanks guys